What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to build a simple voice chat in python so let us get right into it all right guys so some of you might have already guessed that i'm going to flex with the library that i have written again which is called vidstream so we're going to open up cmd and you're going to install vidstream pip install vidstream coded by neural 9 make sure you have the latest version because we have used vidstream in previous videos but the audio functionality as it's working right now is only available in 0014 so you need to have this version or a newer version uh, but it should definitely work with 14. So we're going to have a very very simple script here it's not going to be too complicated because everything is done in the library what you need to do is you need to define an audio receiver and an audio sender and that's it. So we're going to say import, or actually sorry, from vidstream, we're going to import the audio sender and we're going to import the audio receiver. So those are the two libraries. And the basic idea behind the audio chat is, or the voice chat is that we send to the other computer, which is receiving and the other computer sends to us and we're also receiving. So we're going to first say we have a receiver here and this is going to be an audio receiver object. And here we need to specify our own IP address. So uh, to get your IP address, you need to go to CMD on Windows at least and you need to say IP config. And then you're going to see your IPv4 address. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, it's just IPv4 address. And then you're going to copy that thing into here. This is the local IP address. This is not the IP address that anyone else uses to connect to your computer. This is the IP address that you use in your local area network at home to address your computer. So in my case, it should be 192.168.0.207 in this case right now and then we specify a port it doesn't matter which port you you choose as long as it's not a reserved port and as long as it's not um, uh, the same port for different applications basically so we're going to use 9999 uh, 9 here or was this 19 too much uh, and then we're going to say um, we need to import threading here because we want to have the sending and the receiving done in parallel. We don't want to just receive and once we receive then we want to send. We want to receive from the other client and we want to send to the other client at the same time. So we're going to need threading here. We're going to say import threading and here we're going to say receive thread is going to be threading dot thread with the target receive dot uh, or actually receiver dot start server without calling the function just referring to it and then we're going to also define a sender and the sender is going to be an audio sender which is going to target the IP of the other person now one little hack that you can do by the way in order to get your IP address if you don't want to do this manually all the time you can also say IP equals now let me think how this went I think you need to import socket and then you need to say socket dot get host by name and then socket dot get host name there you go this is how you get your private ip um and you can actually just go ahead and replace this string here with this ip but we're not going to do this right now this is just something that you can do if you want to make it more dynamic because this ip changes uh eventually and for the other ip address it depends uh where you're at so if you're with this computer in the same network you also need to just specify the private IP address. So if I have this laptop here and a second laptop, I'm going to have to specify the private um, laptop of this other uh, computer because we're in the same network. However, if I want to connect to a client that's uh, somewhere else in the world, maybe in another country, maybe in the same country, but just in another uh, local area network, I need to specify the public IP address, which you get from sites like myip.is, for example. This person then needs, of course, to uh, set some port forwarding or some open some file firewall rules so that I can connect to that port um, and I need to have the IP address this person still needs to specify the local IP address in the receiver but I have to specify the public IP address in the sender so they host locally I connect publicly this is the important thing here now in this case I'm just going to use 192.168.0 172 this should be the IP address of my other laptop even though I'm not sure if I'm going to make a full demonstration here I recommend using a different port here because you know you have one port where the one connection is going and the other port where the other connect uh, connection is going 
and then we have a sender thread, and this sender thread is going to be threading dot thread target equals sender dot start stream like that. So again, we host the receiver locally, we connect to the to the other receiving end publicly in this case locally because it's my laptop here, but I have tried the script. 100% uh, I have tried it with a friend it works. Uh, this friend is in a completely different network. He just opened some firewall rules or set some firewall rules gave me the public IP address and I was able to connect with camera and with with audio here as well. So this works for the camera chat that we already talked about. And this also works for the audio here. You just have to set the respective rules to have the right IP address, you host a private one connect to the public one. And then you can do this via the internet, it doesn't have to be in your own network. So once you have that, you say receive thread dot start and receive uh, and sending thread or send a thread dot start. And that's actually it. The other person has to run the same script at the same time, because then, uh, or actually, we need to swap the ports, obviously, because we're receiving here, this, uh, this script is receiving on 9999. And the other one is receiving on 5555. Since I'm sending on this port, the other end needs to receive at this port, and the other end needs to send at this port since I'm receiving on this port. So we just need to swap the, the IP addresses, and you need to swap the ports. And then, uh, you run the script at the same time, and then I can connect to the other computer, I get their sound and they get my uh, they get my sound. So this is a very basic audio connection that we have here or a voice chat. Alright, guys, now because I don't want to kill your ears, I'm going to just do a one way demonstration here. So we're going to receive on this end and we're going to send from this laptop here. So we have a Windows machine right here, which has the audio receiver on this IP address, I had to change it because uh, I'm now using my hotspot. Uh, and here we have a Linux machine and Manjaro Linux, um, if you want to know the details. And here we're just sending to that IP address. So we're going to do a one way connection. However, this still works. Uh, if you have both connections, and if you have multi threading, and it works via the internet, I tested it. So uh, I'm just going to do one connection here. And you're going to hear why in a second, because it's going to get pretty loud. We're going to run this here. And we're going to connect uh, right now. So you can hear what's happening here. And we, and we have uh, stop, stop this here, right. So this was why I don't want to do two way connections here, because that would get even more uncomfortable. However, this is not a bug with the software or with the script. This is just because I'm in the same room here, because I have two computers, two microphones, uh, right beside each other. And because of that, of course, this uh, is no good idea. It creates a feedback loop. But this is how you build a basic voice chat in Python. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you're still alive. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, and if you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below and hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.